play tennis or Nobody what, should be marrying out the race because there's political consequences, DJ Envy. I'll give you one right now. Naomi Osaka, I love her sister, right? She knocked off the greatest of all time, the GOAT. But guess what? Who is she representing in the upcoming Olympics? Is she representing Haiti? No, she representing Japan. So here you have a half African sister, excuse me, an African sister, with because there's no such thing as half African, our genes are dominant. So you got an African sister with a Japanese mother, and instead of going back home to your father's blood, Haiti, to represent the Africans in Haiti, you're instead going to represent the Japanese who've never done anything for black folks and are part of the trilateral commission with the American white power structure, but who taught her to play tennis? Did her Japanese mother teach her to play tennis? Or did her black Haitian father teach her to play tennis? Her black Haitian father taught her to play tennis. It's the African DNA. It's the African ancestors in that girl that's responsible for her tennis success. But instead of representing us, she's going to go represent the Japanese. Well, I, this is what you got to deal with I, when you make mixed-race African children. I, I think, I think I, I, no, 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 listen, hold on, hold on, baby. I think her case is a little different, why? though, because she identifies fully as a black woman. She definitely does. So if you identify fully as a black woman, Charlamagne, why is she not representing Haiti? I get it, but that's a little asterisk. Because if no, she, it's not she, an she, she, no, because she's putting her money in the black cause, and she puts her money in the black organizations. She got a black boyfriend, like she, she, and she, and Envy, she stands up, for, she stands me, up for black do you causes. See what Haiti going through? Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. You know what? I don't even know if Haiti got a tennis team, so I don't know. To be honest with you, they don't have to have one. She will win the whole thing. But here's the point. If you look at the political situation that America and France has Haiti in, that they've been in since the Haitian Revolution of 1791, if you look at the fact that the children are being raped, robbed, stolen by whites, if you look at the fact that America and France have sabotaged the Haitian economy and the Haitian society, if Naomi was to represent Haiti one time, she can go back and represent Japan next time. But if she was to represent Haiti just one time, it would shine a light on all the injustices that the U.S. government and the French government are inflicting upon yeah. our brothers and sisters in Haiti, and it will demand from the international community some answers and some changes. She has a chance to almost rescue an entire nation of people, and she won't do it because I'm she not won't say that. to the Japanese blood. Then why is she not doing it, I, brother? I'm not I'm not saying she hasn't, to be honest with you. I'm she pretty, hasn't what? Cause she's, she not represent Haiti? She has not represented Haiti, but, and, but she speaks Olympics, out against so many black issues. She probably has spoken on Haiti. I don't know. Charlemagne. But, I, not, but, I, but I do see her speak out a lot in regards to black issues. Okay, but until she speaks out for the Haitians and until she do something uh, significant for her father's people who are responsible for the talent that she got, her father's people, her father who taught her how to play tennis in the first place, if it wasn't for a Haitian father, Charlemagne, she wouldn't be in that position. Show love to Haiti. The point that I'm trying to make. L look that up, Dan. I'm asking the white man to look I something got you. up. Oh, he yeah, because I'm sure she, I, I think I'm pretty sure I've heard her speak out against that. But the point that I'm making is if she represented Haiti mm -hmm. in the Olympics, here's what I'm saying, Charlamagne. You can't take a small, soft act of activism and try to use that to replace a major, significant act of activism. You understand? Mm -hmm. Saying, making one or two news bites during the uh, context of a press conference is not the same as representing the Republic of Haiti on the international stage. Even if she says something, I don't care about that. You had a so chance what, what, to represent the people who are responsible for you being who you are, and you chose not to do it. I'm not knocking her. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of her. I want to be clear. I'm not knocking my sister. In fact, I would probably have more criticism for her father because I want to know what you put in that little girl that has a run into Japan instead of Haiti to represent them in the Olympics. Here's the point I'm making. When you have mixed-race African children, these are the types of issues you're going to have to deal with because until African people born, get out of situation. She was born in Osaka. She was born in Osaka. So, that, that's, so that's why she has to play for them. Can I ask you a question, Envy? Yes, sir. If a white, if a European Jew is born in Africa and he plays tennis, is he going to represent Africa or is he going to represent Israel? Probably Israel. Thank you. So it ain't got nothing to do with where you're born. It's where your loyalty is. And until black people get organized, fellas, many of our mixed race children are going to identify with the other race because they doing better than we well, are. Well, maybe maybe she'll hear this and take 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 what you're saying I'm into sure consideration. I'm sure she will. Yeah, I'm yeah. not knocking her. I just want y'all to show 
I just want y'all to see it does not benefit the black community to be having all these mixed race babies who are not loyal to us. I have nothing against mixed race. Because you're be fully African, in my opinion. I was going to ask you that. What do you think? I have of no problem with a okay. mixed race African. I judge all black people. I don't care if you're from Africa, because I'm a pan Africanist. So it's all one family for me. I don't care if you're in the Caribbean, Brazil, Europe, Australia, the continent, Canada. Two things. Two things. Are you biologically black? And are you psychologically black? And when I say psychologically black, do you identify with your primary race? Naomi does. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So if you are psychologically black mm -hmm. and you are biologically black, I treat you no different. I don't care if you high yellow with green eyes or blue, black, purple. I don't get into this color game because I think part of the petty differences we have as a people is we over accentuate this light skin, dark skin, nappy hair, straight hair thing too much. Mm -hmm. And it's killing us. It's the blood. The first color on this flag is red, red for a reason. It's the blood that makes you African. So I would never miss treat a mixed race African. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to make sure they understand you will not perpetuate the snow bunny crisis. <laughs> I just don't.